In this video tutorial, I will use Minitab to perform a two-sample t-test to find out if there is a difference in the average customer wait time between two insurance centers. 30 samples of customer wait time have been collected for each center. The first step is to check the normality of the data. We choose STAT, Basic Statistics, Graphical Summary. We insert wait time in variables and insurance center in by variable. We click OK. Now we can see that we have a graphical summary for each insurance center. We can see that the shape of the data for center 1 follows a normal distribution and the result of the normality test confirms that the data is normal as the p-value is high. When the p-value is higher than 0.05 we fail to reject the null hypothesis while the graphical summary for center 2 shows that the data doesn't follow a normal distribution and the p-value under the anderson dorling test lower than 0.05 and for this reason we reject the null hypothesis and determine that the data is not normal. Some statisticians recommend to use a non-parametric test when the data is not normal. However, because both sample sizes are at least 15, normality is not an issue. The two-sample t-test is accurate with non-normal data when the sample sizes are large enough. To run the two-sample t-test, we choose STAT, Basic Statistics, Two-Sample T. We insert wait time in samples and insurance center in subscripts. Now we can tick one of the two options to produce a two-sample t-test assuming equal variances or a two-sample t-test not assuming equal variances. I'm going to take the box assuming equal variances. We check graph and we select individual value plot to have a graphical representation of the data. Now we click option and here we need to ensure that the appropriate alternative hypothesis has been chosen. Our null hypothesis is that the average customer wait time for center 1 is equal to the average customer wait time for center 2. And the alternative hypothesis is that the average customer wait time for center 1 is not equal. Otherwise, if your alternative hypothesis is different, you will have to choose between less than or greater than. We click OK. Let's have a look at the individual value plot to get a sense of the difference between the averages. The plot indicates that the mean for center 1 is 2.04 while the mean for center 2 is 0.8 but now the question is to know if the difference is statistically significant and for this we need to analyze the results of the two sample t-test printed by Minitab in the session window. The two sample t-test result indicates that the difference between the sample means is 1.23 and because the p-value is less than 0.05, we can say that we have evidence that the mean wait times are not equal. The estimate of the difference, 1.2, is within the 95% confidence interval. This confidence interval provides a range of likely values for the difference between the two population means. We can be 95% confidence that the true difference in the means is between 0.7 and 1.6. Or, in other words, we can say that the true wait time for center 1 is between 0.7 and 1.6 hours more than center 2. Thank you for watching.